long before the sun rose. The simple task of getting dressed seemed daunting to me at times. But I wanted to be strong. Strong for my mother. But she was all I had left. already prepared your meal and packed it. I didn't want to wake you. Not even on this most special of days? It is a special day, isn't it? Must you leave so soon? I don't want to be seen by others. They whisper that I'm good for nothing. Except the lonely life of a shepherd. Not even a real shepherd, though. A stationary one. Assigned to watch different flocks that graze upon the same pasture. They don't know you like I do. You are in no way good for nothing. And you are no ordinary shepherd. You are my special shepherd. There isn't much special about me. I have something for you. Thank you, Mother. It is indeed a special day. The long walk was difficult for my leg, but it was something that had to be done. I love the warmth of the sunshine in the morning and the cool drops of dew on my feet. I had plenty of time for reflection to remember the words of my father. You're late. Supposed to be here now before the sun rose. Sorry, I tried. I won't return again until tomorrow morning. Be wary of wolves and robbers. Haven't you heard what day this is? It's the anniversary of the Night of Miracles. You believe in such foolish stories? I do. My father was the youngest shepherd that night. Angels led him to the Holy Child. Don't expect any miracles from God tonight. If he cared about you, he would have done it long ago. Hmm? Haven't you heard that Jesus goes about this land, healing the lame and opening the eyes of the blind? He is no ordinary man, sir. Jesus? Yes, I've heard of this Jesus of Nazareth. And he is a fool to regard himself so highly. And you? You are a fool to believe in such rumors. Now tend to the flock, and nothing more. The God I worship is a God of miracles. Jesus is the holy infant, grown into a man now. My father saw what he said he saw. If I'm faithful, a miracle will happen to me. No, you don't want that. That's chokeweed. It sticks in your throat. Perhaps I'm like you. Wanting something that I should not. I often wondered if it could happen again. Maybe I could see the great star and hear the angels sing like my father did so many years ago. He has told me the story so many times that I knew it word for word. When the angel appeared to us, we were afraid. We tried to run, 
But the angel calmed us, announcing he had brought tidings of great joy. Then came the heavenly multitude, singing and praising the breath of the Savior, the Son of God. All the other shepherds dashed to Bethlehem. I had to run to keep up. The tiny baby was the infant Jesus, redeemer to all, yet born to humble parents. And they could find no room in all of Bethlehem except for a small hollow in a hill where the innkeeper sheltered his animals. What about the baby's mother? What was she like? Mary. When Mary was young, her voice was soft and her song was sweet as she sang to her son, just as your mother sings to you. <laughs> Mary's face shone as if a candle burned within her. What about the husband? Tell me again about Joseph. Joseph was tall and he moved with purpose. It was he who carried the babe in his arms so that each one of the shepherds could lay eyes on him and testify that we had seen him. But when I saw him, he did not look like a king, but he was. I felt it in my heart. And when Joseph saw me so young and in such awe, well, he knelt before me and I reached toward the baby. And his little hand came up and his fingers wrapped around my thumb like this. In that moment, a fire was kindled inside me. It penetrated every part of me. And I knew then, as I know now, that God has sent his son as a mortal to lead us, to teach us, and to save us from death and from sin. Life of a shepherd boy was lonely. Sometimes I wished I wasn't one. But what else could I do than tend sheep? I was nothing but a crippled boy with no talents. My mother must have known I was feeling down. She had packed me one of her delicious cakes. I would save this for the long night ahead. Sometimes I felt like I could hear my father's voice in the stillness telling me of the wise men that came from afar. They had come from the east bearing gifts for the Messiah. Three gifts in particular. Gold, a gift worthy of royalty. Frankincense, an essence many believed would carry their prayers to heaven as it were. And myrrh, the resin from a tree that would help heal wounds. Now the three men had petitioned King Herod for help finding the promised Messiah. He was enraged that men so important would travel so far to pay tribute to a mere baby. But for generations, prophets had testified of the child. Herod grew mad with fear that the baby would grow and threaten his kingdom and his power. It was hard for me to imagine the result. Thousands baby boys killed by order of the king. It would be a long while before sunrise still hours before someone would come and take my place so I could limp home. My nights were spent in a small cave on the mountainside where I could look down and watch over the flock. 
This night, my mind was full of thoughts of the Holy Messiah, this man of miracles. Peace be with you. And peace be unto you. You are a stranger, sir? Not a stranger. As it happens, my journey started not far from this very place. Why are you here, alone? I'm a shepherd. I tend this flock. You must have journeyed long. I too am a shepherd. Really? Where's your flock? Is it near? And far. Is your flock large? Yes. Endless. I'm only a guardian shepherd. Sheep I watch over are not my own. And yet you watch over them as if they were. You've seen me tend? Come sit. I was about to eat. I have little to offer. But I do have a crust of bread. And a word of cheese that I will share with you. As a shepherd, I've often grown lonely, waiting for the gates of dawn to open. Are you sure you have enough for two? I should not want to deprive you of anything. I also have a flask of water. Thank you. Perhaps your feet are aching. This hill is hard to climb. I have climbed steeper hills than this. And I know there are steeper ones to come. Where have your travels taken you? Most recently. To a town on the northern end of the Sea of Galilee. Capernaum? Yes. Most prosperous and crowded in all Palestine. And what is the Sea of Galilee like? Jordan flows through it. Nine cities on its shores. The best fishing's on the north end. Endless pickled fish for the Roman Empire. And the temple in Jerusalem? Still unfinished, but beautiful. I long to pray at the temple in Jerusalem, or walk the shores of Galilee, or climb the mountainside and see the sunrise over Capernaum. 
And you will. Thank you. Does it hurt? I'm used to it. What happened? We were tending my father's flock. And the boulder broke free and crushed us both. My father was killed, and I was left crippled. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. It was years ago. But tonight is a special night. Ah, oh, yes. You are thinking of the night in these very fields when angels came to bring word of the Messiah. Yes. All day I remember the stories. I would like to hear them. My father told me the stories. He was there, the youngest shepherd to travel to Bethlehem to meet the Christ child. Your father was a good man, a noble shepherd. You knew my father? Yes. I met him long ago. He was very kind to me. I miss him. I understand. I am also away from my father. I have more. A cake. Made by my mother. I have not tasted it yet. But I know it would be delicious. It's yours. To honor this special night. Please, eat. Is there anything I can do for you? No, there is nothing. What a price my mother must have paid. She is a widow, poor and bound to a crippled son. I wish I were strong and able to provide for her instead of being nothing but an ordinary shepherd boy. I am a burden to my mother. If only I could be made whole. I used to run and play, and had friends that would run and play with me. I used to sit whole and steady on my father's knee, as he would tell me of angels, wise men, and a baby born to save the world from sin and death. Do you know the stories? I do. But I enjoy hearing you tell it. Your father was a young shepherd boy on the night of nights. Yes, he was young. You're my age. It happened like he said it did. Most do not believe, but I do. Your faith is great. Sir, I am so sorry I hesitated at sharing the cake with you. I wanted it all for myself. You shared with me all that you had. What more could I ask? Please, don't go. Tell me more of your travels. In your journeys, have you come across that mighty healer named Jesus? I know of Jesus. I cannot travel far, but do you imagine that Jesus might happen through Bethlehem? I long to reach out to him, touch his cloak, and feel his power run through me, and have his healing hands rest upon my broken body. With God, all things are possible. Thank you for your generosity. Must be going. My father has need of me. Again, I'm sorry for being selfish with the cake. Now I would give you that and more. 
Would you give me your faith? Do you believe God can heal you? Yes. You would give me anything. I believe God will be my strength. If you are in need of my crutch, it's yours. upon my broken body and now I was whole a miracle had happened to me just an ordinary shepherd boy <laughs> 